Okay, this is one of my foreclosures. We're going to look at this. I'm going to go around and talk about what I'm looking at compared to a cash offer as compared to financing. Um, so say somebody was looking at this is to buy it and live in it. I'm going to walk and talk about what the issues, what are we going to run up against, and why it might or might not work. This little house sits on the cul-de-sac, so that's a nice bonus. It's an average neighborhood. Not bad, not great. So, not a big concern with that. It's on sewer, as you can tell from the manhole cover. So there's no septic issue. It's an all brick home, which is really nice. The roof on the front doesn't look bad. So the biggest thing I see so far is a lot of chip paint, maybe some wool wood rot mixed in here on this on the station soffit. But it does have some good chipping paint around here. So right off the bat, the chipping paint's gonna have to be repaired. Uh, it will be flagged on a FHA or VA appraisal. So there's a little bit of wood rot probably right there. I mean, it's definitely not bad. There's another negative. You've got the original single pane, not energy efficient windows. Okay, so, yeah, so. A little wood rot on back here. It needs to be painted. That right, door's got a little wood, wood rot. Nice size backyard. They go power lines, so you'll never have anybody building behind you here. If had a fence, it'd be kind of nice. You'd block all this. Nice large size backyard. The roof shows a little bit more wear and tear on the back over here. Even if it doesn't need to be replaced now, which it might make it through another year or two, if it doesn't pass, Point and insurance is going to be a really pain in the butt. Okay, so we got questionable roof, a, fa a fascia and soffits need paint, and a little bit of wood rot. AC unit out here looks pretty good. You got the original windows, but not bad at all. I mean, that's all very minimal stuff with the exception of the roof. Go inside and check this out. It almost be better to add a bigger driveway so everybody parked over here. This really just sets up for a rental. This floor is in pretty good shape. So they've converted this, I guess they converted it at one point. That's been five pairs. So the flooring here would be an issue, but I mean, that wouldn't cost much to get that fixed well enough to pass financing. So we're gonna redo that whole report. I mean, this kitchen is getting bad. Somebody went ahead and that's a great addition up there and making that wide open. Even the uh, cabinets are in bad shape. Clients don't look bad at all. Okay, so we got no flooring. Not a bad bedroom. Door's gonna be that right there. Messy door. So okay, we got some messy door, bedroom doors. This is the master. This 
carpet's ruined, so carpet's a must. Paint would be nice in here. I got a little bathroom. Custom tile. Decent size little closet. Somebody's nice enough to leave the light on in here. Even the ceiling is not bad. Oh, this room, this floor is not bad at all. HVAC doesn't look bad at all, so it might be come okay, come out okay after testing. This isn't bad. This does not need a whole lot. I think the roof is really the biggest issue right now, and this thing's pretty good size. There's a bad spot in the floor. Okay, well you can see there's enough issues getting this thing financed where it'd be kind of tough. I mean, it could be escrowed. Carpeting and some doors. Paints nothing. Bathrooms are pretty much good to go. And there's another good example where it was servicer or seller on this one they could probably do these repairs and still spend a couple thousand dollars and get a lot more return for their money on this house it's not it's not that bad off this is a nice little utility room got a newer hot water heater All right, there it is. Like I said, it's priced at sixty-seven thousand. So, say you paid sixty-five for it. You know what you'd have to put down if you're trying to finance it. But you're probably talking about a house payment after you put your down payment stuff. Shoot, under five hundred bucks a month. I think the rent probably for a thousand nine hundred. And we're talking three to four hundred dollars a month positive cash flow. That's not too bad, not to mention having built in equity that you would have for this property. Anyway, these come up every day. I see them all the time. All people tell me every day also, I'm an investor, I want to buy rentals. Well, this is a pretty good example. The beauty of this one also that's a nice thing, is that after another good price reduction, they get this thing in the bottom 60s. You pick this thing up in the 50s, you can't go wrong because you are going to have 40 plus thousand equity without batting an eye. And cleaned up, painted, and freshed up, this thing would rent in a heartbeat easily. It's a good, convenient location. Alright, for all you investors out there, check this one out. This needs to get gone. Somebody needs a good deal. Hit me up. 472-2500. Thanks.